Hi, it's Hazy. Would you like to know how to do these little envelopes, little notebook envelopes? I think they're originally done by Natasha of Treasure Books, I think. I did them months ago, so if I'm wrong, I'm really sorry. So you get little journaling spots underneath and a little tuck spot for you in your envelope there. So, hope you'd like to have a go at these. Little faux stumps as well, but I'm going to wing that hopefully, <laughs> if I can find something. Thank you. Please give me a thumbs up to my videos. Please share them and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. There we go. So now we start. And I'm going to have a look at what we're doing. Because <laughs> I don't even know. So these are little envelopes. Let's have a look. So the little, um, that sort of envelope with a little thing like that. Square ones. I'm going to try and make them by hand. I think I, I suspect I made this using my scoreboard. But I'm sure I could do them. Oh, have I got my rounder offer? That's the point. Okay, I didn't need to go anywhere. I found it. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, there we go. Okay. Right then, so we're going to try and attempt. So they're about four inches wide. So I've got this, this here. Some paper. I'm trying not to use the ones with the script on because I'm going to use that. Come on, paper. Where are you? Paper. Right then, um, that's got, oh, um, there was one without a script on, come on, I saw it, right, that one has, that one has, that one ha, ha, has, this one has, yeah, da, 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 da. right, no, it's not Christmas, hmm, airmail, that's scripty, isn't it, but, hmm, I don't know, that's my best bet so far, just a minute. I'm sure I saw ones with that. Oh, this one, that's the one. Right then, so I don't know whether I'm making two or one, depends on how long it takes. So I've got that one. Now, to make an envelope, I thought I'd make a nice, pretty envelope. Look, let's think how to do it. Now, how big paper would you need? Hmm, so you'd need twice the size of that. So eight inches? No, that's not big, is it? That's not big. No. Um would it be so excuse that. <laughs> that's what I was doing last video. Ah, do you like that? If you want to like that, that's my um video on what would we call it? Doodling doodly lettering or something. I'm I'm probably gonna call it. Doodly lettering. <laughs> I don't think it might not be called that. Right then, so to make an envelope without using any scoreboard. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I did six, well, that would only, so it need to be eight, wouldn't it? I think these would need to, so if you've got a square piece of eight by eight paper, you're laughing. But I haven't. So I'm going to fold that in one. Can you see this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's up to there. I'm going to fold that in like this. This is going to be my 8x8 eight eight per part. They were square, weren't they, those as an envelope? So, see if I can get this. So if I make that sure that's square on, compared with this. Hmm, it won't be, will it? Hmm, knowing me. I'm just trying to get that square. An envelope from scratch. Okay, you've probably got an envelope maker. I haven't. Mine hasn't arrived. So if you have got an envelope paper, um, paper. If <laughs> you have envelope paper, I've got plenty of envelope paper. Just want to make an envelope maker. And mine hasn't arrived. So, so what we do is, I think we'd have to make it on the slant wouldn't we sort of like that eventually right then so i'm going to do this side then or whatever let's have this one 
right i don't know why we're going to have one two three four five six seven eight this is imagining we haven't got a thingy so i'm working myself hard here all right so i'm going to cut that i know it's going to be slightly less because i'm going to cut that off there and it's probably not going to be square but we're not going to mess about too much and i'm hoping it will work and if it's going to be wonky it will be wonky we can't do anything about it right let's move that yes excuse me just move up there yes thank you right so i'm obviously i'm going to use this first right fine in the middle actually fine in the middle it's probably like this isn't it more so you fold your little pointy wing thing up there like that yes pointy wing pointy wing <laughs> and then you point that's obviously not straight up and i'll do it try and do it to the, the actual crease rather than the actual point yeah because look that needs cutting off it's going to be slightly less than so take notice of how you've creased it if you think you've done it accurately so you would put a point up to the middle is that right no you wouldn't you'd go past the middle you have to be logical about these things let's see past the middle obviously because if you go to the middle it's going to just make a a weird shaped envelope so you go and then you would fold in like this oops oh you got a nice lacy bit on there how about that a lacy bit right let's see if i can get a, a, a right angle by using that and this and there how about that okay and this one as well so i've got about that much let's try and get that much there and oh yes that will work look let's try and get the right angle as in the not as in not to the left angle as in 90 degrees <laughs> right so now you would open it up see where to cut you can see where to cut you've got those snipperoos here snipperoo and snipperoo there snipperoo that's what it calls so our dog he's got some um, was it schmackos right okay and, and my daughter calls them smackaroos so he doesn't know the word smacker, he only knows the word smackaroo. <laughs> He's down here. It's hilarious, isn't it? Oh, that's quite big. That is bigger than... Hold on. Will that fit on our journaling page? Oh, no, it's going to be too... It's going to be too um, big. So I'm going to fold it in a little bit more. I'm going to fold it in like that. Yes see if you can get that straight along there so, and again i'm going to try and fold it in as much as that looking by eye how much i folded it in nothing else just by eye by eye eye how about that is that more like it right let's see if this is more like it if not i'm going to have to start the video again <laughs> right, so i'm going to cut that corner off there so i'm going to cut straight up rather than following the I'm cutting straight up. I don't know if that's correct. It better be. Right. So I think we'll only make one of these because obviously you're going to be bored if I make two and you can obviously watch it again <laughs> if you want to know how to do it again, can't you? But don't make my mistakes. Do as I say, not as I do. Right. Um, And that's not the correct way really is it but hey hey because normally oh yeah i've got me corner chompers i can chop the corners off so it looks rather sweet can't i right now this one let's see how big how wide we are so now we're about four and a half inches which will do fine that will fit i'm just going to check that actually that journal that journal there is less than the journal i'm using so the journal i'm using six inch page so six inch no not quite six inch but never mind i think that'll fit yes 
so I've got a journal down there, it will fit right. So that's four, and, one, two, three, four and a half, four and three quarters ish, isn't it? So let's go up one, two, three, four, and three. You can both go up four inches if you like and bring that right down there. We're going to have to cut, cut, cut off quite a bit. Don't forget, this is a completely made up envelope. I haven't followed a pattern, <laughs> but if you want to do a, if you haven't got a one or you, you know, you want to have a go at this, then that's the way to do it. I can, I'm, oh, I like making things like envelopes, but I have, I have got a scoreboard. I wanted to use one. So we can either do that with a ginormous flap, or we can push it we can get it down that is not in the middle is it that is not that point is not in the middle so let's try and get it in the middle so there's so there's a so let's have a look right we're in one two three four so the middle would be that line there can you see that not great so i'm going to go there -ish. that's the middle <laughs> Oh, where is it? Right, let's have a look with my ruler because that doesn't look like the middle either. Right, mm. is that the middle? Because I'm going to get it the wrong. So you, what you need to do is make sure you can get in the middle. That is the middle. Believe it or not, that's the middle. So what I'm going to do, you won't see this um, bit anyway because this is a bit that's going to be glued to the page whoops hold on so I'm going to try and fold this I'm going to try and fold it so it's there-ish there we go this is my challenge to do it without the and I'm going to go let's cut down to there and I'm going to cut down from that point to about there as well. See how that comes up. That's wrong, isn't it? And I've got to cut that bit down as well. Oh, good noise from my daughter. I don't know if you remember me telling you. You probably don't because you might. <laughs> but I did. Back in February, my daughter asked me to make a... Um, headdress because she was doing a, a competition to do with hairdressing because she's doing a hairdressing course and um, she says mum make me this crown thing out of horns so I made it and it took me ages because I hate making 3d and I said don't you have to make it yourself because you know you're the one that's getting the no no it doesn't matter where we get the resources from we can buy them and all this and she's like I hated making this a crown. Anyway, they ended up not using it <laughs> because the model who was going to wear it, her friend, uh, was going to change it and the thing was doing something to it and didn't dry in time. So she ended up making a headdress. So my efforts were wasted. Mind you, I did make a journal. I made her a journal, which is the most important thing. That's it, isn't it? That was the... That's the way. Rather than that. Because that looks silly, doesn't it? Yeah, there you go then. Now, you knew that, didn't you? You was trying to tell me. Right, I've even left this open. It hasn't broken. <laughs> this one hasn't fallen on the floor and got broken like the other people's do. Right, I'm going to do the half inch punch. So we're going to have a rounded, rounded, rounded. We don't have to round them at those corners now, do we? Like I said, I said we're going to have to round the corners, but we don't. And that's a bit creased. But it doesn't matter because we're going to hide. Ah, what's the use of doing that? Right. That, so that's fine. Look. Perfect. You got a little, even got a little thumb hole thing. Although I suppose you could cut down a bit. Wait a minute. Let's have a look. If you glued that, that needs to be cut down, yes, because it's catching on the. So let's have a look. I'm going to cut it down now. I'll just cut down. Let's have a look. Cut down there. 
this is on the hoof <laughs> on the hoof right so oops i cut a bit too far but you won't see that because that'll be on the back right and i'm going to try and draw draw even cut that one too just the right one <laughs> right and then so we've cut that one down perhaps we should have cut it at an angle should we no that's fine hold on a minute i've done the wrong one that's this one right that's the one doesn't matter actually <laughs> i think we're both the same <laughs> Right then, let's see if I can get that down perfectly like that. And I've got a bone folder if I can't. Where's the bone folder? Where's the bone? My bone folder. I've got one bone folder. I've got I've got three bone folders in the room and I didn't have any the other day. So that's good, isn't it? Let's see if that looks like it's in the middle now. I need my naught six and oh six. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Perfect. That is in the middle. Ignore that line there. <laughs> that is in the middle. So what we do now is gluey, 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 gluey. Where's Mr. Gluey? Hey, Mr. Glue, this will do. You will do, Mr. Glue. Right, so this can take quite a bit of glue, I think, can't it? You can, I tell you, I'll glue this, this bit here. I'll glue half, look, look, that to there, look. So it goes all the way there and all the way here. And we'll glue that bit onto there, like that. And we'll go all the way here, on all the way there. How about that? And that's going to come undone, honest. Right, we'll leave it like that then. So we've got a lovely pretty envelope. Le oh, oh, I just realised I've got some pretty paper to go inside. Now, where's my pretty paper? Ah, found it. Oh, see that? Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Oh, you can ink these up, of course. Ink them up. Right, so you want what we're going to do is obviously glue it like that into the book so you'd see that and you would have a oh that does not look straight just a minute right so that's four and that's just less than four so that's um hmm that doesn't make sense does it that's perfect that's not that's oh that's less than four. Oh, that's more than, is that four that's just a bit less than four as well so we're going to have to just a bit like that how about that that might do it because so i can eye these things and it's like a bit millimeter out <laughs> all right there we go so there we go remember we first did this when i was at college doing graphic design and you sort of like learnt from then that was how many years ago now <laughs> um <laughs> Quite a few. Right, uh, so that will do. That will do fine. We're going to have a nice, pretty little design. Hold on. So I was interrupted there. <laughs> right then, they're going to bring me a drink in a minute. They. They mean certain people. <laughs> right. Um, so I'm going to make this. This is quite thick paper, actually. I'm not sure what it is, but I found out. I thought, oh, you'll use that. I didn't realise I was going to also use pink for that. So... That was quite lucky. Um, I'm thinking, am I going to do it like that? So I want about four sheets. I'm going to do it quite... So I'm going to do it roughly. I'm going to do it roughly. About as big as that. And I'm going to cut down here. I hope I've got this, otherwise I'm going to have to print another one. <laughs> Right, and then I'll we'll put that in there, like this. And you get your stapler. And I'm hoping, I don't know whether the... I've got stapler that will do this. But I'm not sure if that will... Where's my stapler? Oh no, I don't think it's going to attach, is it? Not with this. Unless you take the... You could do these do that. I don't know if this one does that. But oh, wrong one. You know when you can take your stapler and put it on a soft surface and attach them in like that. I'll have to use my biggest my um, stapler anywhere stapler for this. That means coloured staples. Right then, so I've got this stapler anywhere stapler. Very useful. 
So I'm going to try and get these a bit more. Oh, we, we could ink them up, couldn't we? Oh, we haven't inked our things up. So let's ink them up. That's, <laughs> that's attaching itself to there because it's wet with glue. Right then, let's have a look. Right then, I've got, oh, pink. Let's get some pink. Have I got pink? I don't know if I've got the pink. Um, of my daubery daubers. <laughs> gonna get, see if I've got, I've got some pink. Pink ink. And I hide up my pink, I don't think I've got pink with me. Just bad, come on. No. I've got this one. The only pink I've got is that. <laughs> but it's got pink on there, so. Oh, well done. No, I've got some raspberry thing. Picked raspberry. Raspberry thing, there you go. Raspberry thing, that's a new one. This colour is called Raspberry thing. It's actually picked raspberry. Right, so we can ink it up. I don't think we'll see this. Uh, yes, that's what... Wait a minute. Uh, no, we'll see this. We will see that as well if you turn it over. I'm going to just ink it up. Look, we've got a bit of a rip there, but hey... This is the old-fashioned things, and these are old things, aren't they? So we're doing this as a vintage thing, I've decided. Right, there we go. Very pretty look, very pretty lace. And um, I can, we can ink the pages up of these as well. I did the other. So... There we are. Oh, I think both sides. Ink, 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 ink. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it looks like a lipsticky thing, doesn't it? There's a lipstick one, isn't there, as well? That's pretty. I think that's quite bright as well. I'm not too sure. I'd imagine it would be. I haven't got that one. But I've got picked raspberry. Let's do this. Let's ink this. So we're going to ink. I might, what I might do is ah, pause this bit and just do it. Um, pause this bit. So, you know, so... I've inked it all up because it takes ages. You, you know how to ink something up, don't you? If you don't, then that, basically I just continue what you're doing now. <laughs> there you go. So that's sort of what it will do is make it pop if you don't know. So it makes it sort of stand out. I think that's rather sweet around the, around the edges. Right, so I'll do the other one. Possibly I'll cut this bit out. That's them both inked up. And if you just, if I have cut it out, you've missed me singing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so what you do now is, um, I don't think you need to ink anything else up, do you? Perhaps you could ink this bit up. I don't know, I'm not sure if that shows. If it doesn't show well, I've inked it up anyway. But um, something shows anyway. Something will show you. I've done that side. Right then, so I've done this. Done this. And if you haven't seen me use these staples before, it's quite fun. But these, obviously you can do it with that method of using the taking your staple apart and using it like that but these are brilliant this is a x cut one i have got um, a paper fuel one as well this is probably in it's in exactly the same these don't know which whether this is paper fuel or x cut or that is but um the in the exactly the same so it doesn't really matter so i'm going to put there's little two little marks there and it's got two little arrows i can just see it i hope you can see that Yes, I'm hoping I can see that. Yeah, that's singing there, right? I'm just going to try and move them so they're in the lane. And I'm hoping they're going to be in line with the. Don't look. Right. You're in line, dear. Get in line. Right. There we go. Okay, that doesn't matter about where they are. <laughs> it won't have to matter where they are. But you can obviously <laughs> arrange them a bit better than me. And that's not too bad, is it? I thought it was worse than that. Anyway, that has now attached itself to there. You won't see that. Shame. But anyway, you'll see that nice, pretty thing. Right? Yes. Right, so now we, what we do is we do the name and address. Oops, oops. I'm dropping everything. Right, 
so seal so 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 I'm going to get some I'm going to do some full handwriting this is what I did for my other one I did some full handwriting you don't have to do that of course you can use a script stamp but imagine you haven't got a script stamp if you haven't got a script stamp this is what you can do so I use a bit of this I've also I've already photographed that so so you can do some full handwriting um, and let's get a, let's cut a piece first because <laughs> otherwise we'll be playing all day so I'm going to use this brown piece of envelope not I'm going to cover that much I'm going to use a little bit um, let's see how big would you need it for the address oh smaller than that let's have a nice small address shall we? otherwise we'll be covering up that pretty lace right, I'm going to have that much so there you put your address and what I did was oh let's have it let's have round it up shall we inch punch the a quarter inch one so we have a nice rounded address whoops look for some reason it's coming back on me right there we go it's jumping back it says hey I didn't want to do this cutting my corners off all right there we go right let's have a look so you put that there like that and you put it so you like dresses there well this one's going to go there because i'm going to have a stamp there so that would be the appropriate i'm inclined to put mine i would always have it there really <laughs> right in the middle but there's the probably the thing so faux handwriting now that's a bit thin isn't it let's get my script let's get my um calligraphy this is a calligraphy pen could take how you pronounce it karateki we won't have that there because we might go on it right so can you see what i'm doing yes so i'm going to write anything like um it says hi i have a cup of tea next to me but you won't be able to hopefully read that and hi going to drink Later, I have Nico in the room with me. I think he is, anyway. Yes, he's still there. Yes, he's still there, aren't you, Fat Lump? He's waiting to go out. We're going to take him out in a minute. So you could just put that there like that. That's uh, you can have a script stamp or something like that, or write an address if you like. Anybody's to, you know, Mr. Anybody, <laughs> Mr. Anybody, seven, seven cedar, cedar close, <laughs> anywhere town, <laughs> anything like that. Um, so I would put that on there. I haven't got a stamp actually. So what I can do is let's have a look. Have I got that? Could be a stamp, couldn't it? But that's the same colour. Hmm. What's this? Let's find something that can be a stamp. I'm going to do this because we're doing this from scratch. Anyway, what about that? I don't know what that is. That will do for a stamp. Right, so I'm going to put this on here. Right, I've got a thingy stamp here. A thingy stamp. I mean, that, that's somewhere. That's on a, a thingy. That's on one of those plastic things somewhere. Let's have a look what we're doing. Is this the way? That's the way it stamps. So I'm going to just take that there a minute. I'm going to get my stamp, which is just, just a piece of ordinary, um, the end of a bit of master board. <laughs> yes, and it doesn't match, but hey, will the stamp match an envelope? Perhaps not. Ink. Ah, oh, wait a minute. I've got this. I've still lost my archival ink. I think it must be in with my watercolour somewhere. That's the only thing, that's the only explanation. That's the only explanation I can find. Right. Alright, so let's see if that will work. I'm just going to chest because that chest. Check. I'll check it on the back of that. Yep, that works. Oh, Italy. Oh, Italy airmail. So this one's come from Italy. So we're going to put our little stampy things on. And um look at see what else we could put there. Let's just put that bit on there as well. So there we go. I know that's not 
well that will do so there we go i know that's um so any and probably any rubber stamp would do if you've got sort of a especially um especially especially a post one <laughs> but uh, that's fine and do we round the rubber stamp now oh ink up the edges that's what we'll do definitely i'm going to do some purple i'm just going to use that pink stamp though <laughs> pink stamp pink um dauber i'm going towards the pink dauber daubery dauber right so quite inspirational here there we go i'm going to ink my edges didn't i didn't take the corners off the stamp so that's fine that looks slightly different right so there we go does that look okay i can't see it actually <laughs> there, i can see it now because it's in the thing so hopefully you've got some thing i know it's not quite square but anyway i'm going to stick those down with that glue and and that's the end and i'm going to show you where you stick it as well <laughs> What do you like to see where you're going to stick this right so i'll show you how to stick it where you stick it in a second so i've put my little dress in there you could draw those if you're good at drawing you could actually draw probably draw the stamps on the um little stamps on just just or if you've got a anything that makes a circle like a um lid of something and just write italy on or France on or USA or London or something like that I don't know why I said London instead of <laughs> instead of England or Scotland or something right so there we can oh yes if you want to put Scotland on there that'd be brilliant wouldn't it it would be lovely right so there we go so what you do is well, I haven't got I don't know where to put this in this journal it's so fat it's gator mouth it's gator mouth I'm on it all dear Smith it's gator mouth it's so gator mouth can you see that <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's not even that stuff you know what I mean it's like pages I'm making another journal I'm going to make it with less pages definitely but it has got a bigger spine I've not made this oh that would go lovely on there look at that so if I put that on that page there possibly in the middle like that can you see that <laughs> I know so if I pull that there, that would go on that pink page there. You could put some put some words or something if you like on there. It's up to you. Right to indicate it's got something special underneath, like journal, journaling spot. Can you see what I'm doing? Oh yeah, you can. <laughs> I was thinking I'm not showing you that. Right, so if, if I can find that pink page again, because it's, it's this everything's hidden in my journal, I think, ooh, what's in this bit? What's in this bit there? What's in that bit? Right. It'd be so fun to go through this journal. <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, it's finished. Right, so there we go, look. Can you see that? I know you can't, there it is. So I've got that there like that. In this journal and I've stuck the so you've got the journaling spot there look if it doesn't stick stick to the page stick to the blue All right okay and I've got I've purposely done things different on the, each page so it it's going to be mismatched so but I think that's the appeal hopefully that's the appeal what's that is that my oh yeah staple there look where's the other one I can see the staple sticking up. That's not good. It's just going to try and push that down. Okay then. Hope you like this content. And if you like to let me know if you liked doing this from scratch. Or do you prefer to use the tools that I have? Or do you prefer to do it from scratch? Just to show you that you can do it from scratch when you haven't got everything. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Hey, give me a thumbs up. 
like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I'll be very grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. If you've got this far, yay. Thank you. Bye.